coming to the most important and the most repetitive problem in an examination on Hopkinson's test of a DC machines, shunt machines. And the following results were obtained during Hopkinson's test on two similar 230 volts armature currents is 37 amperes. Yes, armature current is 37 amperes for motor and 30 amperes for generator. For a motor, the armature current is flows through armature. For a generator, the armature current is delivered by the armature. And the field currents, yes, the field current of motor is 0.85, and the field current of uh, generator it is 0.8 amperes. Calculate the efficiencies of both the machines if each has an armature resistance of 0.33. It's a very simple, and uh, based on the theory. It has a problem. First of all, uh, what is the current which is uh, flowing in this line? The 30 amperes is delivered from the armature and the po 0.8 amperes is flows through field. The remaining current is flowing in this line. If you apply the KCL at this point, 30 minus 0.8 is equal to this current. That should be equal to 29.2. Suppose uh, here you can observe that 37 amperes current is flowing through this motor and the 0.85 is in flows through the field. If you apply the KCL at this point, 37.85 amperes. And the current drawn from the supply of the motor uh, is equal to 8.6 ampere, 8.6 amperes. How you are reading 8.65? See, the 29 amperes is coming like this, but 39 amperes are flowing in this direction. So 39 means how much extra current should be added as 29.2 plus 8.65. Then only it will be 37.85 amperes. Yes, the current run from this uh, supply is 8.65 amperes. You can find out uh, the shunt field copper loss of the motor. V into this value and uh, from generator is v into this value uh, you can find out the armature copper losses yes ia square into ra ia is 37 amperes uh, for motor 37 volt square into 0 0.33 451.77 watts and if you go for the field copper loss as i discussed right v into ish this is called the ish the value is 0 0.85 v is 230 and uh, this one is 0 0.85 195.5 now the total copper loss is equal to armature copper losses plus field copper losses. Yes, I have a clarity that 647.27 watts. If it is a generator also, you should find out the armature copper loss IA for the generator is 30. Yes, 30 volts square into 0 0.33, 297 watts. If you go for the field copper loss, yes, field winding current is... 0.8 amperes and V into ASH that should be equal to 230 into 0.8 that should be equal to 184 watts. Then we are calculating the total copper losses, armature copper losses plus field copper loss. 297 plus 184 that should be equal to 481 watts. For a motor generator set, uh, see we are calculating the total copper losses for the set is equal to 647.27 plus 481 that should be equal to 1128.27 watts. As we discussed so many times, uh, we want to calculate the stray losses. So if we calculate the stray losses for the set, after that the stray losses for each machine. For that we are doing the same steps we are following in the derivation also. And power taken from the supply is equal to V into I, that should be equal to 230 to 8.65, 1989.5 watts. So stray losses for set is equal to power taken from the supply minus total copper loss. That should be equal to 1989.5, 1128.27, it is equal to 861. This stray losses for set I calculated, then you can calculate the stray losses for uh, each machine that is divided by 2. After that, what is the motor input is V into I, the motor input power is equal to uh, the V into the armature current is uh, I is uh, 37 amperes. So, from that, we are calculate, uh, we are subtracting the losses copper loss plus stray losses 
six forty seven point two seven plus four thirty point six one five. That should be equal to seven six two seven point six one five watts. If you go for the efficiency of motor output power divided by input power into hundred, and the output power is calculated, and the input power is also calculated at eight seven zero five point five. Then I got the efficiency of motor is eighty seven point six one. If you go for the efficiency of generator, the generator input is yes. The output of the motor should be equal to input of the generator. From this uh, generator output is input minus losses, input minus uh, copper loss plus tray losses, six seven one six watts. So generator input uh, we are calculated. So generally output power plus losses we will calculate, but otherwise input minus loss also you can calculate. The efficiency of generator is eighty eight point zero four. If you observe that uh, the efficiency of generator is eighty eight point zero four, and this value is greater than the efficiency of motor for the same losses for the same machine for the same. Okay, we yeah, are stray losses. Uh, You, you, if you calculate the efficiency of generator and the efficiency of motor, the efficiency of generator is greater than the efficiency of motor. Okay, so generator output is equal to input minus losses and the input minus copper loss plus tray losses. So, okay. coming to the next problem, the Hopkinson's test on a two similar machines. Give the following results: Line current is 48 amperes, and line voltage is 110 volts. The motor armature current is 230 amperes. The field currents are 3 amperes and 3.5. Armature resistance of each machine is 0.035 ohms. Calculate the efficiency of each machine, assuming a brush contact drop of 1 volt per brush. So compared to the previous problem, this problem only the additional drop is added. That is called the brush contact drop. So line current is forty amperes. Yes, this is the line current is forty amperes, and the line voltage is one ten. Motor armature current is two thirty amperes. The current which is flowing through the motor is two thirty amperes. The field currents are three. Yes, this one is three amperes, and uh, so the generator field is the three point five amperes. If you apply KCL at this node, from the forty eight, forty one, three uh, amperes is flowing through the shunt field winding of a motor, and three point five is flowing through the shunt field winding of a generator. So you can subtract this forty-eight minus three plus three point five. So if you apply the case like this node, then you got that from forty-eight six point five amperes is subtracted, then six forty-one point five is flowing through this line. And uh, this is the two thirty amperes is flowing through the armature. If you apply the KCL at this point again, the two that T is flowing. How much current is added? So let us say this is called the I X. Yes, I X plus forty one point five. That should be equal to two thirty amperes. Then you should calculate the I X value one eighty eight point five. The armature resistance of both the machines will be point zero. Three five. The brush contact loss for a motor is uh, V into brush vol voltage brush. So this is called the voltage across the brush. So one volt per brush means for each machine has two brushes. For motor two thirty into two four sixty watts. The armature copper loss for a motor is two thirty volts square into R A is point zero three five. Then I calculate the one eight five one point five watts. If you go for the generator, and the generator copper losses is a uh, E square R E, the E is 188.5 volts carried to 0.035, one to 43.62. The motor field copper loss is V into I S H. The V value, the V value is 110, I S H value is 3 amperes, and the generator field copper losses is uh, that is 3.5. 
and input is uh, 110 water and generator field copper losses are 330 plus 385 then i got the 715 motor and gen generator armature copper loss also you can calculate total power supply which is taken is equal to 110 into 48 that is 110 into 48 that should be equal to 5280 watts the brush contact loss for a generator again it is uh, 2 volts uh, uh, because we are having a uh, 2 brushes brush 1 and brush 2 and 1 volt per brush is given and 188.5 as uh, into 2 the current into resistance uh, or voltage so the current into voltage uh, brush voltage is uh, 377 watts stray losses for both the machines then you should calculate the stray losses from the input power supply if you subtract all the losses then you will get the 632.88 this is a stray losses for both the machines i want to calculate sorry this is the stray losses for both the machines i want to calculate the stray losses for each machine that is divided by two same procedure the motor efficiency is equal to motor armature copper loss already we calculated motor field copper loss is also calculated now the stray losses and the brush loss is equal to 460 watts the total motor losses is equal to 1851.5 plus 330 plus 316.44 plus 460 is equal to 2957.94 watts. The motor input is equal to 110 into 3 plus 110 into 230 that should be equal to 25,063 watts. The motor output is equal to input power minus total losses. Same procedure students. The efficiency of motor is calculated by considering the losses related to the motor. The motor armature copper losses, motor field copper losses, motor stray losses. If you add all the losses, then input power, input minus total losses will give the output power and output power divided by input power will give the efficiency that is 88.45. For a generator also, uh, the losses uh, for a generator you should consider. The generator armature copper loss is 1243.62. And the generator field copper loss is 385 watts and the stray losses which are obtaining is 316.44 watts and the brush contact loss for generator is 377 watts for the total generator losses is calculated after that output power plus losses but the output power already we are calculating 110 into 1 185 yes 110 into 185 is called the output power so the 110 in after 180 188.5 minus uh, 3.5 that is called the 185 so that is called the generator output uh, okay that is called the generator output and then you should calculate the efficiencies 18.75 so you see you can observe that the efficiency of generator is greater than the efficiency of motor if you are calculating the losses and the next one is two machines are loaded for occupancy test take 15 amperes at 200 volts yes 15 amperes at 200 volts he has taken and uh, the motor current is 100 amperes yes the motor current is 100 amperes and the shunt currents are 3 amperes and uh, 2.5 amperes so this one is 3 amperes and this one is 2 amperes 2.5 amperes the resistance of the armature each will be 0.05 ohms calculate the efficiency of each machines for each particular condition of loading so the armature current of the generator is now 88 amperes from this 88 uh, if you subtract the 3 amperes then i get the 85 amperes if you apply the case you write this note and from this 100 amperes 2.5 is gone the remaining 97.5 amperes is flowing through the armature and the, from this 85 and the, the the current which is drawn from the supply is 15 amperes 15 plus 85 is 100 which is satisfied so if you want to calculate the motor armature copper loss is 97.5 volts square into 0.05 if you want to calculate this uh, armature copper losses uh, of uh, generator is 88 volts square into 0.05 and the uh, power is 200 s 200 into 2.5 uh, again you can calculate all the losses armature copper loss is i square ra and v into ish is uh, field copper loss and the power drawn from the supply is v into i 200 into 15 
that is 3000 watts and the total copper losses for the set is uh, you can calculate again the stray losses for the machine uh, from the input power if you subtract these trail uh, copper losses uh, then i got these stray losses and uh, stray losses for each machine stray losses uh, for each machine is 1037.48 divided by 2 okay again you find out the individual losses uh, total losses for a motor is 518.14 plus 500 plus 475.312 then i got it as a total losses and the input power minus losses divided by input power into 100 then i get the efficiency 92.53 and the efficiency of generator is given as motor output is equal to generator input and uh, here i got the efficiency the efficiency of generator is less than the efficiency of motor why because uh, here is uh, considering the the current uh, which the field current is taken as the uh, the field current which is required for the armature is greater than that of 3 amperes is greater than that of the 2.5 amperes so that's why i got the efficiency of uh, generator is less than the efficiency of water generally uh, we are considering only the for previous problems only efficient uh, that uh, field current uh, required for the generator is a uh, low value for the motor uh, we should consider like that but in this problem is given as uh, field current required uh, for generator is greater than the field current required for motor that's why i got the efficiency of generator is less than the efficiency of motor so thank you